There's a lot of things to be afraid of, people. Whole lot of things. Boom! <laughs> Gotcha. Hey, hi, how's it going? I have been on TikTok recently, and I've been seeing a bunch of different TikToks about a bunch of different kinds of phobias. So today, I wanted to look at some of those phobias and maybe see if I have a phobia of some sort. I, I have a few in mind that I'm going to do. I guess I would say, hey, uh, warning that, that we're going to be looking at a bunch of different phobias. So, so here are the most common ones. Again, I have ones that specifically I want to dive into, but it's been interesting seeing these pop up on t TikTok. So there's social phobias like anxiety I have, and especially after these past couple of years, I've definitely developed a little bit of social anxiety, not as much as I would call it a phobia, but I definitely have a bit of social anxiety and anxiety in general. Agoraphobia, the fear of open spaces. This definitely, does this? translate does this include open water because i think that's a different thing acrophobia fear of heights that's pretty common we have pet petromerhanophobia the fear, <laughs> the fear of flying claustrophobia obviously fear of enclosed spaces is arachnophobia not on this list uh, the fear of spiders i feel like that would be like the top one there i want to dive into some different phobias. If you have any phobias, let me know in the comment section below. But one of the things that came up that I want to look at is called megalophobia. This is a type of anxiety disorder in which a person experiences intense fear of large objects. So I saw a video come up on my fear your page that was like, trigger warning, megalophobia. And I was like, I don't know what that is. And then it played and I was like, oh, like I don't have a phobia of this, but this is definitely like unsettling. I love how it's a Reddit about megalophobia, but it's only going to show things that would trigger people that have megalophobia. Um, yeah, like this TikTok of these giant places, like that's a boat underneath. It's hard to get a sense of scale. I saw a scale of this the other day, which they compared like these offshore oil rigs to different buildings. And I never, I knew that they were gigantic, but I didn't realize just how gigantic. So like, here's an oil rig. I don't even know what that is. Two towers in Malaysia. Like it's insane. I mean, it makes sense because they're in the middle of the ocean, but you only see this top thing. So it's like, okay. That's big, but you don't think of how far down that could, like, how do they even build something like that? Oil rig basin transport. That's insane. What is this? What is this? Oh, I'm so I'm assuming it's just a bunch of mirrors. Oh, and it just goes on for seemingly forever. Wait, this is real. Hold on. I saw this the other day. And I thought that this was Photoshop. How big is this? It's the third tallest statue in the world? See, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not afraid of it, but it's like unsettlingly huge. Especially with something like that, where like, it's not just a structure or a building. Like it looks like a person, it's a statue. Compare, size explorer. Okay, here we go. Here's this versus, let's do something that I've seen before. Do they have Empire State Building? Okay, so this is not nearly as big as the Empire State Building. Okay, in my mind, this was like the size of the Empire State Building. Still like unreasonably large and like nothing should ever be that big. What is, oh, it's just a train. That's horrifying. That is so horrifying. So, do they put a plow on the front of the train? Or do they just let the train go? Ugh! I guess they just let the train go. <laughs> Rosetta Comet. What is the Rosetta Comet? Above Los Angeles. I live here. I don't like that. So, this is one of those things where it's like, why would you do this? Also, who let you do- Who let you do this? Windmills are- Unbelievably, like, oh my god, they're so big. I was reading a thing, hold on. How to transport wind turbine blades. Cause they're so big and they're one piece. So it's like incredibly hard to transport because it's not like you could go around. You have to take specific routes that are 
more straight because it's not like you can make a like a 90 degree turn with i don't know how big they are like 200 foot wind turbine blade each blade is 116 feet that's so big banana for, <laughs> banana for scale of the earth what is happening oh that's how big the banana is <laughs> That's really scary, actually. I really don't like that. The small dot is Mercury in front of the sun. <laughs> the sun is really big. This! I saw this! This is such an unsettling picture. Ah, it's so big. What is this? An Imperial Superstar Destroyer compared to Manhattan. These aircraft carrier. Why would you do this? Why would you kayak in front of it? Like, even if it's docked, I'd be like, if this thing starts to move, there's nothing. I will be crushed. That's probably why, why Siren Head was so popular, because people are like, this thing's really big and it's super unsettling. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> I like, if my mind couldn't. A full-size school bus. This is a school bus next to haul truck. What the fuck? It's not even as tall as the wheels. I mean, they're back a little bit, so I'm sure it's about as tall. That's crazy. Oh, these, oh, these chains are so big. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, it moves really well, but in, in a way that it doesn't, uh, that, that, that like I don't like. Okay, let's go to a different phobia. Go to a different phobia, different phobia, different phobia! This is the fear of open water. Terrifying wave created by ice falling into the ocean. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. Oh, my God. Uh, people who just like looking at cool ocean pictures. Here's Point Nemo, the spot furthest away from any land point in the world. You're closer to astronauts aboard the International Space Station than humanity? Really? Oh my god. That's a good point. I'm not afraid, like when I'm in the ocean, I don't necessarily know if I'm afraid of sharks because I like sharks and I respect sharks a lot. I'm afraid of the unknown, you know? And the unknown might be a shark. Like this is kind of... Horrifying. <laughs> yeah, this. So this is what I'm talking about. Uh, I mean, this is kind of okay because there's something surrounding him, but just out there. Ugh. I mean, even that. Like that. Oh, that space. Exactly. Exactly. Adorable water puppy. Yeah, I'd rather. I would rather swim next to a shark than just be out in the open. Ugh. That's so cool. That's crazy. Where is this? What the hell? Is that real? Where is that? <laughs> See, that's what could happen. I mean, a humpback whale couldn't swallow you. I don't think. I mean, they definitely don't want to because they eat krill but you sure can fit in its mouth. That's the thing too. It's like, we can fit so many of these fuckers in the ocean, because it's so big, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> no con, <laughs> what the fuck? Board game idea, explore the bottom of the ocean and discover ancient creatures and outer worldly fossils, no combat, only ominous feelings with the morbid curiosity of what lies beyond in the dark. This is a brilliant idea for a horror game. Somebody make this. I would love to play it and I would hate to play it. Subnautica was horrifying because it was the open ocean. I'm downloading Subnautica again right now just so I can go out into the open ocean. I want to just go to Google Images real quick and look at megalophobia. Oh yeah, I saw this. That's great. It's just so big. That big ass snake. Like the big ass snake from God of War. Jormungandr. Ugh. Crazy. Ugh. Ah, <laughs> Jesus. This. Oh. <laughs> this is a horrible image. I don't even know what that is. Oh, is that a sunfish? This isn't a Buddha statue. <laughs> God, this is such a good game, but... 
but also fuck this game. Oh, see this, this guy. Oh, see now it's dark. What hit the ship? Oh god, oh, it's so large. Oh, it's so large. Oh my god, it's so large. See, and we're not even that far down. I just remember seeing a, a Reaper. Reaper Goliathan? Is that what it was called? I don't remember. And that's the thing is I, I don't, I don't wish to remember either and it just goes down oh there it is yeah this is just kind of the worst thing ever just the worst oh god and like it doesn't even want me <laughs> oh to be wanted by a reaper leviathan why is it glowy is this rare but see, it'll take me 25 minutes to get back to the surface. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I'm gonna end this here. I basically just talked about big things in the open ocean. I didn't really talk about much more other phobias, but what else is there? I don't like feet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think the scariest thing in the world is. Uh, and I'll see you later. All right, love you.